It's vlog day 672. Today, I am practicing yoga. I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but I already feel a tingly sensation on the inside of my soul. First thing in the morning. Long before you actually want to wake up, remember, you have to poop the badger. Because if you don't, I'll leave you little landmines in the apartment. And that's not what anybody wants, right Badger? He doesn't care, he's, he's happy either way. I think we made it. Although I'll definitely be checking the apartment before, uh, you know, wandering too liberally. Once successfully pooped, time to carry him upstairs and beat him. Sweet, yeah. Now I'm going back to bed. Badger has been well pooped and napped. Actually, when he fell asleep on my lap, it was really hard to put him down. Not because he's heavy, just because he's cute. And also because he acted like he was kind of drunk when I did, and he just kind of sat there for a while. So, I'm out in the world again. I'm gonna go see Pushan for lunch. We were talking about doing a bigger event than we are, but you know, Indian food won out. So, he's gonna introduce me to a new restaurant here. It should be tasty. Get some Indian food in me, then I gotta go work. Make some progress on my to-do list, ideally. Go for a run, grab my laundry, bring the laundry back, do my laundry for free, because that's one of the perks of house sitting. And uh, that sounds like a good day to me, so let's go have lunch. Chetanadu, that's what he sent. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. I gotta work on my pronunciation of pretty much everything in the world, but Chetanadu, it looks tasty. I'm really excited. I'm hungry for lunch, but I see no Pushans. That was gross, I see no Pushans. Welcome to the Indian hood. <laughs> Is this your, is this like one of your favorite restaurants? Yeah, it's one of my favorite places because it's, uh, I mean, it looks pretty crunchy, but it's actually really spicy, so uh, we come here, get my groceries next next door, I come here and eat some pretty good food. And usually I'll bring some home for the next day as well. <laughs> I'm excited. I lost Pushan to the grocery store. And I don't know what we're about to eat, but these are, we're gonna find out here in a minute. Anyways, lunch was really good. It's a spicy place. If you wanna go there, they, they, they serve real spicy food, which apparently I passed the spice test in our relationship. So Bouchon's willing to take me to the spicy places. I'm gonna try and get some work done this afternoon before I go for a run. And then, uh, you know, life is boring. I feel like there was something I was gonna talk about today too, but my brain is, I'm bouncing all over the place. Oh, I kind of, I almost remember what, I almost remember what it was. That was fast. Got the Boom. drugs. <laughs> What are these? These are curry leaves. Well, no, what are, what are these? Oh, so, okay. These are uh, called pan. Pan. And it's, uh, we, uh, we eat this in India to digest, basically. Okay. It's a mix of uh, some sweet jelly, some spices, and the pan leaf. People in India will make it on the street. I, I love it. Sometimes they'll make it with tobacco, and you see people, like, kind of like when they dip and they spit it out. Uh-huh. And they'll have their teeth will be all red because of the, yeah. what's in the pan. Yeah. Uh, but the ones we have, it's called a mita pan, which is a sweet pan, and it's just uh, no tobacco. It's just you eat it, and it helps you digest all right. a heavy meal. It's tasty. It's like kind of fruity and minty and crunchy and very pungent actually. That's really good. I don't think you have enough onions. We need some onions. 
Russ making plans because unbeknownst to my patrons, I, t- I tried my best not to sway this at all, the travel poll, uh, but one of the options on the travel poll was actually Beritz, which is where Pushan's going to be for almost all of June. So we're probably going to go join Pushan there at this rate because it looks like it's probably going to win the poll, which is really exciting. So that works out really well. I didn't want to sway it though. I don't want to, I don't, I want people to choose. I want people to get to the, their, their best choice. So anyways, that's exciting. I've decided that I'm going to go to the Peloton because KB does doesn't have Wi-Fi on the weekends. And I didn't know that. I didn't realize that was the case. So thankfully he let me know that. So I'm dodging uh, an awkward moment of not having Wi-Fi at that cafe. We'll try to go get the Peloton on for a little bit. I just want like an hour and a half of work time on my computer. And then we'll go get the run and laundry and stuff done and just maybe relax for the evening because it's nice having like a full real apartment with a real kitchen and everything. Oh, but I also have those Juanitas. Thanks to the Arnstons. Thank you, Arnstons. I have Juanitas chips. And since uh, the bees have plenty of delicious salsa stashed away, along with that big thing of mimolet. I'm definitely gonna get those Juanitas and put them to solid use tonight. That is something I cannot forget. I absolutely have to remember that. It was good. I got a little bit of work done, but I ended up seeing Luke, who's the guy that wrote the book Oblivious that I read recently, which is like his story of buying a motorcycle and riding it into West Africa and amazing. I just really enjoyed it. Anyways, we chatted for like an hour, which is an hour I was supposed to dedicate towards actually getting work done. And now I'm behind on everything because I still have to go back and poop Badger. Like he's on a very strict schedule. So I'm going to go home, grab my laundry, running gear, head back, poop Badger, go for a run. And then hopefully... I gotta still edit my vlog, obviously, but then hopefully relax a little bit. Should be nice. Maybe go to bed early, sleep forever. It's a nice, big, comfy bed. Sounds lovely. So, uh, you know, whatever happens next. Laundry kicked it. Now, time to poop the badger. Well, I found him. Who knows how long he's been in this corner. Yeah, time to take care of you, buddy. Let's go. Part of course is carrying him all the way upstairs. That's fine. The only real danger is that he always pees on one paw, like clockwork. So you gotta f- pay attention which paw that is and then keep the pee paw away from you, which I'm successfully doing right now. I've also been asked a lot of questions by older French people about him. Like, is he sick? What's wrong? Like, <laughs> calling him a little baby and then realizing, oh, he's kind of old. These are some interesting interactions. Anyways, I need my breath for the stairs. So, you know, that's enough of that. <laughs> Finish running these stairs. Whew. Man alive. This hill. Okay, back to it. <laughs> Quick three mile run, trying to get back in the saddle. Running on the hill is a very different experience altogether. I get a little bit of elevation where I live, but not this much. Like running around second I ran all the way around the hill, and then up the hill. So started like halfway, ran down it all the way around, back all the way over the top and around a little bit more. You get the idea, some up and down in there just to kind of get it in there. I need to do more hill training and stairs for sure. Anyways, that's good. Now, I think I'm gonna relax a little bit with Badger, maybe make some Mimolet nachos, although maybe I'll save those for breakfast tomorrow, we'll see. And uh, yeah, that'll be enough for today. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. I would love to have you around and I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning for, I think, Immersive Ships Monday. And if not, you know, exciting things will happen because Life is normal. Life's normal.